So today I was going to start out the video over on Genesis because I want to head over there and grab myself some more X sabers. We've already got Dexter, but we're going to need some more because I want to do some mutations. But first, because we have this gift back here, I got to start out on the island. So Evo has left me a little gift. I have not looked at this just yet. So let's see. You have a new best friend. It's a baby moose. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um... Oh, he's mutated. I see the cyan. Okay, now I understand why he gave me a baby moose. You know, I, I really don't understand what the deal is with these dudes. Like, why do they have the antlers that big as babies? Like, this this is a mammal. This had to pass through its mother. And I don't know how it managed to do that and the mother managed to survive. Either way, though, thank you very much. Uh, I think I'll raise this later. I'm not sure if it has any good stats or anything. But you know what? I could use it to gather thatch. Boom. So, we're gonna head over to Genesis now. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave you in there for the moment, actually. Yeah, you can just chill in there. We're gonna head over to Genesis. But guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Hopefully, we can get some really good stats on these sabers. Hello, Mr. Turtle. And uh, we can start the breeding process later. All right, let's use the portal. About the portal, by the way, Wildcard told me I'm not allowed to show how to make it. So that's kind of annoying. Sorry, guys. All right, we're here on Genesis. Oh, wait, no. <gasps> oh, crap. I left Travis back on the island. Oh my god. All right. Well, we got to go back. It's fine. We will go back. It's only going to take us like a second. All right. Here we go. And bam. The island. Let's see. There you are, Travis. Come with me. What are you doing back here, man? Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. No, the bag. Yeah. Okay, wait. No, nothing good in there. Never mind. All right. Let's go. And hello, magic portal. Bring me to Genesis, please. That is where we need to be for today's video. And boom, Genesis. And we have Travis this time. There he is. He didn't escape our clutches. All right, let's do it, buddy. Let's fly and look for some sabers. Oh, there's a 168. Is that... That is the saber. Okay, it's that one right there. I'm going for it. And then we got to come back and kill all the other ones here. Okay, this is it. Boom. Think I got it, right? That's it, right? Sweet. 168 female not bad kind of uh not great colors on it although i do like the white actually damn all right so we're in a mission zone right now so we obviously can't build our little trap but i will just prepare it let's see um where is the closest non-mission zone hmm i actually don't even know maybe like down here or something and you go into the trap oh that absolute perfect aim right there Oh man, that was actually really good. Usually I'm pretty terrible at this, but uh, that was uh, that was some great aim right there. Let's see, wow, yeah, you know what? Actually, the saber is quite pretty. I like it. It's definitely a nice looking saber. I don't even know what I'm hoping for from like mutations on these X sabers, but I'm really, I'm thinking, you know, something maybe, I don't know. I feel like a red could be really nice with the different spots and stuff that they have. I don't know. I'm really just going to be up for anything, but kind of hoping we get something red here today let's see uh so we can use our helena to check its torpor oh yeah not gonna be too many darts in this one uh let's see if we could scan again that would be great cool so um yeah i'm just gonna get this thing fully tamed up and we're gonna check out its stats and obviously try to tame some more the plan here today isn't to spend the whole video taming it's to actually spend a good amount of time uh breeding these sabers so this video is probably going to take absolutely ages to make but it's going to be worth it for some really awesome sabers before we head over to valgiro for our little adventure over there we should probably try to get the headshots on this thing oh hey it's tamed let me see are your stats any good all right let me chuck you into the soul ball just to see properly all right, little X saber. Let's see. So we got 36 into health, 45 into stam is actually pretty good compared to Dexter. Um, yeah, 45 into the stam is actually quite good. All right, sweet. Everything else is kind of like Matt, but you know what? The stamina stat, if that's a good stat, then I'm good with that. And we've got a 174. Let me see your colors. Very nice. Actually, a really nice looking saber. God damn, I, I gotta say, the X-Sabers are just so cool looking. I really like the pattern. It's so good. All right. Um, oh, we're not in a mission zone, so I guess I can actually maybe build my trap somewhere. But I'm gonna not build it somewhere where we're gonna have to deal with an avalanche kind of damaging it slightly. So maybe up here could be good, potentially. 
Hey, got you in. And it's out. A lot of those darts didn't count, which is super annoying. I really hate that. Oh, man. All right. So probably like three kibble, I think, right? Something like that. All right. Let's see if you've got any good stats then. Um, Which one are you? You're this one. Wait, what am I doing? I don't need to throw it out. Let's see. 39 to health is better than before. Less stam and less melee. Okay, yeah, Dexter's got the best melee. 37's really not that high, though, so I kind of want something higher than that. Um, but 39 into health is definitely decent, although, no, Dexter has the same. Okay. So, yeah, this saber is kind of just trash. <laughs> yeah, like, eh, it's not great. I feel like, eh, I guess we'll keep it for the moment. We'll keep it. Got another saber, a 180 this time. Um, I wish I'd been checking like the stats on them pre-tame, but this one seems like it has some pretty half decent melee, I would say. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what it turns out as when it's tamed. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's going to be good because I really need some good stats out of the next few sabers. There we go. All right, let me see. How are you? You are a female. You're this one here. Okay. Melee 44. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's a lot better than anything I have so far. So I'm pretty happy with that. Also, the stamina is higher as well. And oh my god, the oxygen is quite high. Not that I really need oxygen, but it's, it's nice to see we're actually getting some high stats. It's just not really where I need it, to be honest. I would have preferred that 47 points into melee instead. All right, well, yeah, um, this one will do for the moment for sure. Definitely need some better stats though in health. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna keep taming some. Maybe like two or three more if we can find them, but yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a two day video because I am definitely not gonna get this all done in one day. 180, hello. Let me grab you. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. And a Dara Wolf is mixed in. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, crap. Which one's the 180? I don't even know. Let me see. There's a 162 there as well. Okay. Uh, I should probably try to get the two of them. Let me grab this. Wait, which one did I grab? 180, right? Uh, yeah, that's the 180. Okay. Um, where is the closest non-mission area? Uh, maybe over in this direction. My god, stop smacking at me. Okay, wait, are the other two chasing me? I think that right there is the 162, and I feel like that's probably gonna die to the mammoth. Oh, wait, no. Mammoth is pretty hurt. Okay, well, if we hurry, we might be able to get the two of them, but at least we've got the 180. Let me check the stats on you, bud. Um, no, I scanned the RG. Let me see if I can scan the saber. I've done this before. It just won't allow me to do it right now. Whatever. It's fine. All right. I think we're going to exit the mission area over here. Pretty sure this is out. Yeah, there we go. We're good. All right. Let's build our trap like right over here. Ooh, there's a dar bear right there. Never mind. Um, maybe like right here. And in. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to leave that thing right there. I'm going to hop down here and see if we can grab the 162 as well. It was like right over in this direction. Okay, let me... Okay. Gotta try and remember where that is. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. Uh, okay. So the 162 is like over here somewhere, right? Um, all right. Wait, 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 wait. What's attacking what? Still attacking the mammoth. Okay, cool. It looks like it's in good health, so we might be able to tame it. There's a dead one right there. All right. Did I get it? I do not have it. It's right here, though. Uh, got it. Sweet. Wait, is that another saber right there? That is another saber. What level are you? 66. Very nice colors, though. My god, this one is vicious. Ooh, I've just noticed my stam is not doing too hot right now. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta get back over here. That's my trap. It's up here. Okay, the saber is still in the trap. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze the two of them in here, but I'm hoping that I can. Let's see. Oh, that's almost in, but it was a miss. Uh, let me see. We might be able to just chill here for a second. Let me kill Microraptor. Give me that meat. Let's see. Yeah, that's getting the healing going. All right, I have no clue where the saber went. 
The 180 still in the trap, of course, but yeah, I don't know where the other one's gone. I might have to tame them one at a time because I don't know if I want to spend a bunch of time looking for this one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Unless it's over here. There's a dead saber over there. That actually could be it. That megatherium totally could have killed this thing. Let me check. That's probably it. No, that's a 96. Okay. Never mind. There's still hope. All right. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to tame the, uh, the 180 first, and then we're going to... We could probably remove the trap as soon as I knock out the 180, actually. And then we could see if we could find the 162. If not, then whatever. But at least we have the 180. And it's out. Sweet. All right. Here is three kibble, and I'm going to remove the trap. Is this you? Nope, you're level 18. Yeah, I have no clue where that 162 is gone, so I'm just going to assume that it got killed, because, like, it's nowhere here. It's either that or it's just, I don't know, despawned because I moved it too far away from where it was. It's very unlikely, but... Yeah, I would probably say that it got killed. So I'm just going to give up my little search and wait for this 180 to wake up. All right, so the stats on this one are actually pretty decent. I feel like we're we're okay now. Maybe maybe I'll leave. 44 for health. Uh, what do we have? 44 as well, I think, for melee. Yeah, right here. And then 46, I think, is the highest that we have for stam. So... They're all pretty good stats. Nothing insanely good, but you know what? It is what it is. I think maybe I'm just going to take another maybe 10, 15 minute look around and just see if we can spot anything at all. And if I can, then cool. If not, then we're going back and we're going to use these stats. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I've been over here for so long. It's going to be nice seeing colors that aren't just mostly whites and grays and the occasional green. <laughs> I legitimately found a 174, like, right over here. Give. Give. All right, we got to get out of here with this thing. Is this going to be any good? I mean, this is a sign. That's, like, there was probably, like, 10, 20 seconds between I last talked and me spotting that dude. Uh, What are your stats there, bud? Wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't know. We might have something good in there. Oh, that health actually seems pretty high. I think? I feel like that health is actually going to be really good. All right, I'm going to tame this one. We're going to go back over here and build up the trap. But um, yeah, that's like a 174, like literally right over there. So I actually thought it was the 162 for a second because I flew around and killed a couple sabers, but I don't know. All right, well, let me see. Let me get this trap ready. Oh, there we go. All right, let me see those stats. I think this one's going to have really good health and that's it right there okay great so it doesn't have better health than i think our other one had like 44 right yeah okay never mind it was worth a shot to at least tame one last saber but uh yeah we'll go with these stats it's fine i mean like they're they're not bad i just i guess i was hoping for something really incredible like pulling out like a 50 or almost 60 point stat would have been fantastic but you never know. I mean, I might have to tame a thousand sabers before I ever get something like that. So I'm pretty sure. Is there a... There's a thing up here, right? There's a terminal. I know I could use the portal, but that's all the way back over in the ocean. And if there's a terminal right here, then I think I might use it. Yep. Sweet. All right. So we're going to head back to the island and, um, yeah, get to the breeding. Actually, you know what? We have enough points. Let me go ahead and just use those before I leave. Uh, hexagon exchange. I will have one loot crate, please. What do we get? Uh, I got a golden Hesperonis egg. Cool. We got this. Ugh. Okay, great. <laughs> Fish baskets, a gravestone, large crop plot. Yeah, nothing fantastic out of that. Though, I can use this to make one piece of the best tier of kibble. Got a radio. Um, yeah, that was kind of a crappy one. <laughs> I'm just going to grind this when we get back. Well, I guess I'm going to have to make a grinder first. So maybe I'm going to hold on to it until we have a grinder to grind that. But, 
Yeah, not fantastic. All right, so we're back on the island and you may be wondering what this is and maybe what this is and maybe what this is. Well, uh, a bunch of stuff in S Plus have actually been pretty much made obsolete and I guess it's the end of an era because the hatchery is no longer a thing. You can't craft it anymore. Um, hatch, boom. Yeah, well, okay. I should have typed it the eerie as well, hatchery. Uh, but you know, it, it's kind of strange. I mean, this stuff has been a staple of S Plus for like such a long time and, and now, also, the item collector has been kind of uh, repurposed and renamed. Uh, now, everything that all of these different items have done, like the animal tender, the sheep herder, um, you know, the hatchery and a couple other things, they all now run straight through this, which is the aggregator. Aggregator, I assume that's how you pronounce it. Um, so, yeah, this does like a lot of different things now, which is nice, but I kind of liked having all these different little things that I had to you know, get the fuel for and everything. So I don't know really how I feel about it. Uh, here's one thing that it actually does, which is a really nice um, addition. It can turn like, I think it's like two medium poops. It turns that into a large poop. And that is a great idea. I love that. But um, yeah, I don't know. Just just the way that, you know, it just, go, yeah, I don't know. I like my hatchery. I want the hatchery back. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's so weird not having the hatchery anymore. Like, all of these items now can just be demolished. Oh, God. We're having some horrendous lag right there. I guess it was probably just a server save going through. Um, but yeah, the hatchery and all the other things can just be broken now because, I mean, they're not really usable. Um, let's go ahead and pull everything out of this. I mean, the aggregator looks really cool. I gotta say, I mean, god damn, it actually looks really nice. Oh, what's in here? Oh, yeah, a bunch of meat. Okay, well, that makes sense. But, um, I don't know. It's it's kind of strange not having those things anymore. Uh, either way, though, I don't know. This looks pretty nice. I, I don't know what it's made out of. I Initially, I looked at it. I was like, that kind of looks like a tech suit, but I don't really know what that is. Um, it's pretty cool looking, though, and it's got a couple different menus in here as well. So distribution options. We have a bunch of different options. It's a much cleaner layout for, like, trying to... Trying to get all these things um, onto like the one page, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's still it's still kind of very strange. Also, the vivarium has gotten a major update as well, but I can't craft those, so I can't really show you any of that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Very very strange little changes, but it is what it is. Rip the hatchery. It was great while it lasted. Oh, and this saber right here actually has all of the stats I need. Sweet. Yeah, health, uh, stam, and melee. Okay, I guess I'm gonna pull you out of there and start raising you up. Gotta get a male either identical or... Oh my god! <laughs> Look how tiny the tail is! Oh, that looks so weird! It's so small! Wow, okay. That is a very strange-looking baby saber. I wanna have some meat on me now because we don't have the sheep herder thingy anymore. Um, oh, there we go. Cool. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna let that thing raise up. Um, we might end up having a couple more pop in in a few minutes. We got a couple things to throw away and everything, but I'm gonna start be beginning the breeding process. We gotta get a male and a female with all the good stats identical. Uh, and then we're gonna obviously have those two uh, breed together constantly for some mutations. And I guess we can remove the sign on the box now and maybe raise up that moose. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Hello, little baby moose. Sweet. Uh, if anybody has a name for this thing, let me know. I don't know what to call it myself. So I managed to get all of the best stats into two sabers. Uh, these two right here are twins, and then that one over there is their child. Yes, I know it's sick, but it's all for science. The science of Ark. So I left the breeding for probably around like two hours, I would say. Maybe a little bit less. I can't exactly remember. I just started editing the video when that happened. But um, yeah, using the dino storage mod, it, it picks up all the babies, uh, which is super handy. Like this makes it so much easier for me to do the crazy breeding that I always like to do in these series. So um, I'm just super happy about the addition of this mod into the series. Anyway, on to the actual mutations, because we actually managed to get a double mutation, which is something that, you know, I get occasionally, but it's not its not really that common, to be honest. I mean, there's a very small chance that you're going to get a double mutation. Um, but anyway, yeah, so using the Dino Storage mod, we could just look right down here at the very bottom and look where the mutation stopped, and anything above there 
they're not mutated. It's just the way it kind of orders them, which is super handy. So we have a couple mutated ones here. Let's just grab them out and then let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of the males. 299. We're looking for a 301 and higher. There we go. We can just pull them from here. So, oh, I have a couple other sabers on me here. Let me just chuck those onto my hotbar. Uh, okay, cool. So we have a couple of them here anyway. Uh, we have two females and this one here is the double mutated one. Now I'm just kind of looking at the stats. I'm pretty sure. So what do you have? You have a melee mutation. That's your mutation. What is your one though? What do we have in oxygen? We had, uh, I think we have a food mutation. Food for sure. Uh, food and weight. Okay, so not, you know, it's a double mutation, but it also gave me two stats that I really don't want mutations in. So even though it's super rare, we will be getting rid of that. Uh, I do want to just quickly take a look at it though, because it has yellow on it actually, which is an odd color for a saber. Oh wait, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, it's, I think yellow is the underbelly maybe? Kind of hard to tell. I figure that's probably where where that uh, mutation is, but uh, not super awesome looking. Let's see, what else we got here? Um, this one here is... Is that a stamina mutation? No, you're, this one here is a stamina mutation. What is your mutation? Uh, okay, so this one here is also a food mutation. Then we have a stamina mutation on this one. Uh, down here we have... This one is also a food mutation, and then this one here is a weight mutation. Okay, so literally out of all those sabers, there's only one that's like super useful, and it is this melee mutated one. So we're going to put that onto the bar, and I just want to quickly take a look at some of these sabers, because they have some pretty nice colors. Look at that. That is a crazy looking green. Uh, what else do we have? We have, that's kind of like a basic looking one. Let's look at this one. I think that's almost like the identical green. But where is that region? I have no clue. Is that the underbelly? No, it's not. Hmm, weird. All right, what else do we have? Uh, this one here has a red on it. Let's see where that is. Uh, oh, red is around the spots. Oh, that's such a nice color. Damn, it's a pity we have to get rid of them. But you know what? It is what it is. I got to go with some of the stat mutations. And then eventually what we can do is we can start pulling in some colors. But we're going to get tons of colors along the way. So I'm okay chucking away some of these dudes. I'm just making sure I'm not actually chucking away anything that I need though. Uh, so just to be sure, we only have one female. That's good. And we should have four males, I think, right? Three, four... Okay, so we didn't get any new ones. Now we're going to go ahead and destroy all the souls in the terminal. That's going to give me levels because it essentially counts all of those as kills for me, uh, which would happen if I would just manually kill them myself. Kind of could live without that feature, but you know what? It's okay. If it's in there, it's fine. I don't really care too much. Um, anyway, so now our plan is we got to go ahead and breed or not breed. We got to raise up this baby here and... Um, yeah, what is your mutation? I think it's the black right there. Is it? Let me actually pick you up again real quick. What is... Oh, no, that's not a black. That's kind of... That's like a dark blue or something. Kind of hard to tell what color that is. 92. I mean, I could look at the list myself, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to raise it up and let's go ahead and name you melee uh, mutation. So, uh, 1M. 1M. Sweet. All right. So obviously it's not ideal because it's on a female, uh, which means that I can only have it breed with one creature being a male. It would have been much better if this came out as a male because then I could just have it breed with infinite amounts of females at the same time. But whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and, and pick these guys up here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't know. I, we've been over this in a video before. <laughs> I don't know, in, in in Ark, is it, like, whose choice is it in Ark? Is it the Saber's choice? I, I don't even know. I don't want to even get there. You know what? We're just going to move past this. I'm going to let it have its baby, and then we're going to probably pick it up. <laughs> I should have probably also named these dudes here. Uh, there we go. So, we have our second mutation. It actually hasn't been too long since the, uh, since the female over here fully grew up and started breeding with, um family <laughs> but uh yeah it hasn't been too long and we have our second mutation it's on region zero and we have a health mutation with this one along with 
retaining our uh, melee mutation, which is great. And it's like a nice super light blue, which I really like, actually. That is going to look really nice if I can get something that can match that. Maybe like a green or something for where you can see the kind of like beige or whatever. It's actually, you can slightly see it like growing there every few seconds. It's super cool looking. Uh, but yeah, so, so far we have region two and region zero, both mutated with pretty much ideal colors. Obviously region two is kind of like a weird, like it looks as if it's a black or something. It's really hard to tell, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I dig that. It's definitely nice. It's a nice contrast from like the light colors. So if we got like a super light green, that would be cool. Maybe like a super light yellow or maybe a d different shade of blue could look nice as well. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice start, at least. Uh, the better part is that this is, in fact, a male, which means that I can get the females back out and uh, breeding with it when it is fully grown. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put away these two. So we have a third mutation, and it is another health. So two health and one melee now, and this is what it looks like. It actually it should look really cool. Oh, okay, wait, no, I'm, I've gotten confused with the regions. I thought that was going to be all over the body. I guess that's the spots, though. Okay, so which region is all over the body, then? Uh, probably region 5. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, actually, you know what? That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. I like that. We just need something for the rest of the body to kind of, like, tie it together. So, maybe another blue, uh, something like that. I don't know. That kind of, like, greeny color goes quite well with the blue that we have down there. So, I like it. It's definitely coming together, and the sabers are looking really cool. And, obviously, we are getting some really nice stats so far. Uh, maybe two health, two melee would be a good way of ending it. Uh, I'd rather have two melee than three health. So, we'll have to wait and see what we get. But, uh... Yeah, definitely digging this. It's uh, it's looking super awesome. So this is also a male, so we're going to have to go ahead and have you raise up and mate with your whatever relatives those ones are. All right, so we have the final mutation. Double health, double melee, and that color is interesting. That's actually... Hmm. That's not too bad. Okay. I mean, it's not what I was kind of expecting or wanting, but you know what? I think that and the blue mix really well together. There's, like, definitely a difference between them, which is what I like, but, like, I think it I think it goes well, and it actually kind of ties in with the uh, super dark. It's not a black, but whatever the color is around the spots. Um, yeah, they tie in super well together, actually. I, I can kind of almost slightly picture it fully grown up. I don't know. We're going to have to wait a little bit. But I'm I'm taking this. I'm definitely taking this. This I think this looks pretty good so far. Oh, you know what? Actually, look at that. Wait, here, let me grab out the spyglass just to get a better look. Like, look at the face with the with the black little spots going through the fur and everything. And yeah, that red. It's it's kind of like a red. It's almost like a salmon-y kind of color. Let me let me show you. So you can see right here, it's like, it doesn't technically look red. I guess it's like salmon-y kind of pink or something like that. But I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we're probably going to have to wait till it's fully grown up to get a better look at it. But I'm digging this. I'm definitely digging this. Uh, let's get these things to stop breeding. So yeah, double health, uh, double melee mutations. And I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Let's go ahead and name you. Because obviously this is not the one we're going to be riding around on. So, uh, two health, uh, two melee, boom. Uh, we're gonna obviously get this one fully grown up, uh, breed it with these ones here, and then try to make a couple extras of these, and then maybe imprint them or something like that. And then, we can ride around on one of these things. So, let me bring you over. By the way, in case you're wondering, I think you probably just noticed it. I guarantee a couple people picked up on it. I, uh, I turned off Enable Wandering, and I also have them all hitched. A couple people are probably wondering... What are you doing, you idiot? You absolute idiot. Why are you using wandering over mating? Because mating means they will not move. Well, uh, here's something that not a lot of people seem to know. Enable mating only works if you're in the area. If you leave the area or log off on a server, it, uh, it stops them from breeding because they have to be loaded in. Enable wandering is different. You can log off, uh, not on single player, because when you, you know, when you exit single player, it just pauses the game, essentially. 
but uh, on a server you can log off and leave them enable wandering and they're just gonna breed forever like hence why i was able to just go for hours earlier and then come back and get a bunch of like uh creatures in here you know they were already doing that the whole time when i was gone so just figure i should mention that i've probably mentioned that a few times in the past but you know what it's it's definitely worth mentioning a couple times just before i get comments calling me dumb or something i know what i'm doing man i know what i'm doing all right well anyway we gotta wait for this thing to grow up and you know what i'm gonna stay right here all right this is a good angle okay it's gonna grow up in three two one bam there it is fully grown up <laughs> no time has passed at all i don't know what you're talking about Oh man, all right, let me see. How how are you? Let me quickly, do we still have Dexter here? No, uh, whereabouts is Dexter? Let me go grab a saddle. Actually, you know what? Let's just craft a couple extra saddles. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, oh, that's really nice. Let me get this thing out of here. I wanna actually check out the colors properly in, in natural light. All right, there we go. So how do you look? Yeah, a little bit more kind of salmon -y kind of color. Yeah, I don't know. I'm digging it, though. I think it's a super nice looking saber. Oh, yes. Look at you. Hell yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we should get like three of them because soon enough we'll have three cats. We have two right now and we've got the other one coming and we have picked a name for it. I don't know if I'm going to say right now. I don't know. Maybe you'll see that on my Instagram at some point soon. Um, all right, so what do we want to do? Okay, well, actually, one thing. Oh, I'm getting all messed up in K-mode and stuff. One thing I want to do right now is see what, see how terrible this potentially could look when I get a dermis. Uh, and speaking of that, let's just grab a taxidermy thing. I don't really want to use the ones I have in the bedroom. Let's see. Boom. Let's just make one of those. So, if you didn't know, <laughs> it's super unfortunate. Um the the taxidermies for the dermises for x creatures do not look like x creatures what that looks nothing like this what that like literally is is kind of i guess the opposite almost very strange i mean it has the same colors as you can see it's just very odd i don't know i really hate the way the x creatures don't go through properly with the dermises it's almost kind of making me not want to do a mutation museum this uh series which is probably something i would have done but i don't know i don't like that so the all over kind of body red has turned into these stripes and then the underbelly is the same color as the whole body here uh the green i i think is just fully gone i don't know if that's anywhere it doesn't kind of it doesn't really look like it is and then uh, the little color, whatever color that is, I'm just going to call it a black. I mean, it definitely looks like a black. The black around the spots has taken the color of the mane. So, yeah, super disappointing. I hate the way they don't go into dermises properly. Uh, arc dev, please. Uh, arc devs, please uh, fix that. That would be great. Anyway, um, so we got a little bit of work to do. Obviously, I'm going to need three of these. Three kitties equals three sabers that need to be bred up and everything and imprinted and everything like that. So we got a little bit more work to do, and I will see you guys on the other side. All right, so we've got three little saber kitties to raise up and imprint and everything. I figure we should name them after my cats. So let's start with the female. We have uh, one female, two males, so we got Nugget over here. Boom. And then we have Dexter. Boom. And then I know I did say I'd probably announce it or something on Instagram, but you know what? Let's just let's just put it here. This is a name that I actually suggested for Dexter before we got him, but we never named him that. But Benji, short for Benjamin. Um, there we go. We got our three kitties. Oh man. Now we just gotta raise them all up. So I will see you guys in a little bit and we're gonna take these three out for a little bit of killing, just like I'm going to do with my cats in my new neighborhood. It's gonna be great. All right, let's do it. So we're riding around here on Nugget and I've got the other two on Follow. There's probably not too many things around this area that I can go and fight. And of course it starts raining like literally right after. Wow, okay. <laughs> God damn it. That is super annoying. Ah, oh, man. Just when I'm about to head out. All right. Well, it is what it is. We'll deal with it. I just, I don't really like recording in the rain. It looks really poopy. Let's see. All right. You kitties want to attack? There you go. Perfect. 
All right, wait, 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 wait. What? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where? Where? Where are you going? Who is this? Which one are you? Benji, what the hell are you doing, man? Get over here. What are you guys doing? I feel like it might have been on passive flea somehow, but I didn't put it on that. Very strange. All right. Well, whatever. Let's see. What else we got here? We got a Lystro. I think I might go after just a couple of the bigger creatures or something. All right. Come on. Attack this thing with me. What are you doing? Oh, man. All right. Let's see. What about... What do we have down here? I think there's a Diplo. Cool. Let's see. Let's attack this Parasaur. No, it's dead. Okay. Anything, like, big at all? All right. Hunt this thing down. Go ahead, boys. Go on. Go after it, Dexter. What are you doing? <laughs> all right. Maybe we should go after the Diplo. That would be probably a pretty big kill. All right. Let's see. These things don't do any damage, but, you know, they, they are super annoying. They do swat you back quite a lot, which is just super, super annoying. Uh, it might maybe get him, my, my kitties a couple levels. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. There we go. Yes, it's almost dead. And there we go. Sweet. Who got the kill? I think it was Benji. All right, let's see. What else do we have over here? Um... Got a couple of Mega Nura and stuff. Oh, look, the rest of them are coming. Sweet. We could probably actually kill a bunch of baby sabers to get some levels on these dudes as well, actually. Hmm. Could do that. I might need that before I head over to Valkyra because that's totally what we're going to do. And I'm almost kind of slightly horrified to go over there with my, with my sabers named after my cats and potentially lose them. <laughs> it better not happen. All right, let's see. What do we got over here? Paraceratheriums? Cool. I think we'll go over there and check these dudes out. All right, we got a Sarko as well and tons of Dillos. All right, get in here, boys. Come on. Get in there. Yes. All right, let's kill the Paraceratherium as well. Boom. And dead. All right, do we have anything else? To be honest, this area that I live in isn't super, like, good for running around and training dinos. Like, it's, uh, I don't know, it's mostly kind of, like, mellow and there's not really too many big threats at all. Like, there's the occasional Sarko and, uh, Dinosuchus, but still, nothing super dangerous. Um, yeah. All right, well, guys, I feel like that's probably going to be the end of this video. I am super tired and I need to go to sleep. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Also, let me know what you think about the sabers.